Hello everyone, Sam is here from creativetradingsystem.com uh, making this video about indices like S&P 500, NASDAQ, DAX, uh, US 30, and Nikki, stuff like that, okay? So let's get it started. Uh, this is uh, the S&P 500 chart made on the 22nd July. And this was um, kind of like a harmonic pattern and um, it was uh, about to, it was finished here, completed here around 127 level but uh, my concern was this number here 45 50 and maybe uh, you know if it goes above then 4634 but this was the number to watch actually right so possibility i said must stay below 45 50 to drop maybe to this rising tier so whatever this chart on the 4th uh, october we reached that target outer uh, tier the rising tier right so at this moment that it was it is on the rising tier and at this number here so you can see that this is the number that i'm uh, i have it black in black so uh, this is the uh, important number to watch 40 to 16 so i made another chart on the 28th so it dropped a little bit more instead of 40 to 16 it dropped to 41 right and at that time I made this chart that, okay, it is 61% and it's going to be bouncing from here. And then first, this, uh, the sloping TL for the, you know, uh, uh, the bullish flag. And then if you break that, we're going to go up to this 46, uh, 35, and then so on, you know, more to the upside. So what happened to this chart so far as of today, November 11th, is this. So we are here as of November 11th. We went up straight up to the upside, and now we are hitting this upper uh, sloping tail of the channel. And uh, I'm not making a new chart because this chart is still valid, and I think that we have more to come to the upside. It might uh, retrace a little bit, just be careful, but yes, more to the upside. So this is S&P 500 uh, moving forward um, to the upside, right? Now, the next chart uh, is US 30. So this was also on uh, 27 July. This was the high, 35,627. Uh, I, I said uh, we're going to be stopping here and then maybe coming down to this tier, rising tier. And what happened? Boom, it dropped here to this level, 33,025. And then I made the same chart here, uh, same day, October uh, 28th that, okay, we have uh, reached to the 78% level uh, of this uh, rise here, right? And then this is the number to watch, 32 to 30. And I said, if we can stay above that, we can go back to this 34 to 87. And then what happened to this chart as of today, 34 to 87 is touched, right? After uh, from 28 October till November 11th now. And uh, again, like I said, that uh, we're going to break this and then go for upper levels. So this chart is still intact and uh, trade accordingly. Uh, we are, see, look at this, this, just look at this candle. the weekly candle, not the, the last one, but the before that. It's a big, big, huge, powerful candle. So we're going to have a follow-up uh, on this one, I think. All right. So, um, yeah, uh, this is a US 30. The next chart is... Uh, Nasdaq, right? This is also a harmonic pattern called uh, crab pattern, and you can see it is um, you know 61 to 38 to 161 percent. And this number was uh, in question 157.18. This is also made on 27 July, and the target was this rising tier and this high here. So what happened to this chart? It came down exactly to this number and the rising tier 143.82 as of 4th October. Now, same chart I made, um, uh, October 28th, I made the, uh, the chart, a new chart, when it was here on 140.78 high, right here. So I said, okay, this is wave three, this is wave four, a bullish flag, and we're gonna rise from here. Again, going like all the other indices to the upside, first target is this, 57.18, then second would be this yellow band, right? So as of today, what happened? We are there very close to 157.18, right? We already broke above uh, the channel, uh, uh, the bullish flag, and we are very close 
So this one, right? So this chart also, it's intact and uh, it's going to be uh, more to the upside. The next chart is uh, DAX. And this was a chart that's going to drop here on July 22nd. And it came down here. And actually, it came down all the way here. So when I it came down here, I made another chart going to the upside like this one, right? On the same day, 28th October. And what happened to this chart? It just started to bounce. And now we are here. Now, it didn't bounce much, but like others, right? But yeah, it did bounce. And then we are halfway here. Uh, and touching this uh, this low here, I forgot to write down what it is. But yeah, we are here and more to come to the upside, right? So chart stays the same. Uh, next chart I will show you is Nikki. Nikki, I made the chart. Uh, I did not make the chart for, uh, previously, but somebody asked me. Some people, you know, I got the email about this. I thought, okay, let me cover uh, the Nikki as well. And it, Nikki was doing the same thing. So we were here, 37.99 and uh, a couple of times, right? And 38% as well. So I said, okay, uh, if we can stay above this, we can go to the upside. So as of today, Nikki is doing what? This is just doing. All right, so it went up straight forward. And now we uh, are here. I forgot the number. Uh, but yeah, whatever. I'm going to write it down later on. I'm, I'll make the charts. I didn't save the charts, though. I'm just showing you the... Uh, well, I did, I did, I did uh, save the chart, but I'm going to redo them again uh, you know, over the weekend. Today's Saturday, so I have tomorrow uh, to redo all those charts, right? So this is what it is, all these uh, five indices that I showed you. Uh, gold, I already made the video about gold and uh, oil video. Uh, a few hours ago, I made the oil video. So oil, I have a big, big hope that it's going to be uh, going to the upside big time. So um, trade accordingly. And all these indices. Now, somebody uh, put a comment that, you know, uh, they on, uh, he only saw my uh, uh, positive trades and uh, there is no negative trade. And then he wants to see, you know, you know want to know why. And the first thing is that, you know, I, I'm not here to teach how to lose uh, or have bad trades. I'm showing you only the right one. Now, the idea is this. These are my trades uh, not last week. Uh, the, the week we ended because uh, I have not made the video and the charts are all scattered. Uh, but I'm showing you uh, here uh, the previous week, right? Now, week started on the 29th. I had almost like 18 or 20 uh, trades, right? Now, look at each setup and each trade. See this uh, arrow here? That's where the my ear expert advisor opened the trade, right? And it also plays the SL right above the high. If for long, right above the low. So this one from the uh, place, it opened the trade from this point to the uh, the point that it placed. The SL is always 25 pip. Okay. So my trade is bad, then I lose what? 25 pip. But when my trade is good, then let's take a look average. My good trades uh, do average. Uh, how much is the average, right? Now, 100, this one is 100. 65, look at the setup again. Open the trade here, SL was here, 25 pip. If my trade goes bad, I lose 25 pip, right? Most of the time I, I go get out on break even. Why? Because if, let's say I open the trade here or my EA open the trade here and my SL is here. Now my trade goes up in my favor, maybe, uh, for example, if I open the trade see here, it was open here, right? What happened? It went up and then down and then went up 25 pip. My uh, 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 SL moved to break even. It was right there when it was taken out. So how much I lose? Nothing. Okay. So now, and the same thing happened here. See this arrow here? Okay. The trade opened here. It went up, came down. My SL did move. But once it's, mo uh, it's more than 25 pip, SL comes and sit here. And boom, it was out, then it opened this one, then it was out both time at break even. The third time, it went up 65 pip. It was more than around 100 pip, but you know, by the time I got closed the trade, it was here. Uh, this is how it, it, it works, right? So now this setup here, trade open here, see the arrow here? Okay, my EA opened the trade here, my SL was here, it never looked back and dropped for 75 pip. And this one, forget about this, this is indices. 
uh, Euro Yen, 140 pip. Look at here, right? The first setup, out break even. The second setup, 140 pip. Look at this, right? First setup, out at break even. Second, 160 pip. So most of the time, I'm uh, my SL, if my SL hit, it's at break even. But for example, let's say I open 10 trades, five goes negative and five goes positive. Now five goes negative. Let's say for example that it five of all of them hit my SL full 25 pip each. So that's 125 pip loss, right? But five goes my way, which are let's say average is 75 pip. Consider that this is 160, uh, 140, and then um, here 65, 75, and 100, right? So uh, that's fair to say that, you know, average uh, uh, trade is less than 80 pip. Now, if 80 and 5 goes my way, that's 400 pip. And the loss was 5 pip, to, uh, 5 trades, uh, 5 losing trades, 25 pip each. Now that's I'm talking about coin toss, 50-50%. If 50% goes uh, negative and 50% trades or entries goes positive, then I have 450 pip positive and 125 pip negative. So you can do the math. Uh, sorry, 400 minus 125, so that's 375. No, 275, right? So 275 pip. If you're talking about 50-50, which is my system is a lot more than that. It's 70% most of the time. And my SL don't hit, like I just explained that, you know, most of the time, uh, SL hit break even. For example, here, you can see here. If, if I had opened a trade here and price drop here, 20, 25 pip, I come on certain a break even and my SL is out at break even. Then the second entry created, uh, produce, what? 100 pip. That's how it is. So that's why I don't bother because it takes a lot of time. So I'm not, you know, going to sit here and then show every losing trade as well. But um, I'm, uh, as it is, too much, uh, too much work, all making all this chart and all of that. Right? So I'm, I'm doing trading as well as doing the webinars and then uh, doing the analysis of like 25, 30 first pairs and then indices and this oil and the gold. It's too much work. So, yeah, I'm too busy uh, for showing my negative trades. Uh, very few of them, and most of the time I get out at break even. So now you might understand why I don't show them, right? But that's there's a reason. So this is how it is. And like I said, that now uh, let me go back here. Indices, all of these charts are still intact. Uh, my subscribers have them. And they are trading. My subscribers have the, uh, uh, the you know, the brick sizes and all of that for these uh, charts, you know, for entry charts, for these uh, indices, right? Uh, all indices have different brick sizes, box sizes. Uh, all forex pairs have the same, but the all indices and gold and oil, they all have different. So when, you know, any anyone subscribe and uh, tell me that what do they want to trade, I uh, prepare them and give them uh, the proper uh, brick size. Okay, so this is how, that's why I call this a system. It is a system, it's not just buy, sell, signal service, no. It's a system that needs to be learned and uh, trade and apply the system properly, all right? So I hope, and then another thing that I wanna mention that please um, make a note of this, very important, someone is running uh, not one, two, several uh, Telegram accounts under my name, my uh, YouTube channel name, my Forex Magic Wave, and my picture. All right. So if you come across any Telegram channel with my picture or the name my Forex Magic Wave, it's not me. Those channels are not mine. Okay. Some people are defrauding. Uh, using my uh, you know name and <clears throat> my picture, I already complained uh, to the the Telegram, but they're not taking any action, right? So, um, but you know, if you see my picture or uh, you know my forest magic wave, the name my forest magic wave, that's the name of my YouTube channel, right? So uh, that is not my channel. Please stay away from those channels.
All right. The only Telegram channel I have is, is, is like a private for my subscriber, paid subscribers only. And the name of that is Creative Trading System. And there is no picture or anything of mine. So that is the only channel I have. There is no channel with my picture. If you see one, it's fraud. Okay. So don't uh, be a part of that. <clears throat> okay. And another thing is, <clears throat> yeah, my YouTube channel, My Forest Magic Wave, right? Uh, uh, and, you know, just go ahead and subscribe to uh, the, the, the YouTube channel so that you can get my videos on time as soon as I upload them, all right? So uh, I don't know which one I'm going to make after this, but yeah, this is, uh, I think I made the gold, oil, and all of that. And um, maybe a uh, weekly recap, but I'm too tired. I'm going to go to sleep after this and talk to you guys uh, soon, maybe tomorrow. All right, so bye for now and have a great rest of uh, the weekend. Stop recording.